Yes. All right. Hey, YouTubers. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably have the same problem what I had on my uh, 2040 46 M3 convertible. Um, the top, once you operate it, as it goes down, and right before the top is in, but the lid is about to close, you'll hear the this clicking noise coming from underneath the rear seat. And it fails to lid completely close. Then you figure, oh shit. So um, I tried to go to the button to bring the top back up. And uh, same noise. So you pretty much are top is not functioning at that point. From uh, That happened to me two weeks ago. From what I've done research on Google, the problem is the problem is the plastic cover on top of the motor that operates your top. That's the motor under the rear seat. And uh, before I remove the rear seat and uh, show you how I did the fix, if you stranded somewhere, you're not home, and you need to bring your top back up, what I did, and it worked for me, is this is where that issue happens. I put my thumb on it and gave it a really good press and kept that pressure at the same time I used the button to bring the top back up and uh, it came up just to test the uh, theory again I did the same thing and decided to fold the top down it worked again so this is an emergency part where you just gotta get the top up or down um, when I searched the internet for the repairs you know instead of spending a brand new buying a brand new motor which yeah, I found it for about four hundred dollars because you can't get the cover from BMW you gotta buy the whole motor I've seen um, where people were putting zip ties around the motors uh, I've seen where there's a uh, metal uh, like a hose clamp would go around the motor with some wooden shims right here and that would provide the pressure on that gear um, and I've seen one when the gentleman used the stud that he put through underneath the motor, used the barrel nut, uh, then a washer, spacer, uh, looked like a real nice setup. That's the way I was going to fix it. All those fixes are under $10. And uh, pretty much that was that's what I was going to do. So the night when I was searching for more information on the barrel nut type of repair, because I wanted to know the size of the hardware, um, I came across the listening on eBay and uh, here's what I got. This is a metal cover that's going to go over that motor. Um, $99. Yeah, it's more than $10, but I really liked how it looked in the pictures on the listening and I figured you know what I'm gonna do it this way uh, simple fact is that the barrel nut repair even though it's under ten dollars but um, I would have to reverse engineer it because I had no information on the size of the hardware or anything else so it's pretty much looking at the pictures that would on the uh, on internet and making a couple trips to Home Depot or Lowe's coming back and just kind of working so I estimated probably about three hours of fixing it this I should take me about maybe 15 minutes maybe less I don't know we'll see how it goes so let's uh, see how this piece is gonna work going to remove the rear seat. This part is already out. Uh, right there. The way you remove the seat, you just 
give it a little yank, and boom, it's loose. Now, here's the thing. As you're coming it out, I'll keep that part down, fold the seat like that, and have it like come out like that. Reason for that is, you got a couple scratches here, because I'm just too in a rush. So, that's the way to get it out. <clears throat> is to remove this plastic cover. We're going to do it gently, use some pry things, plastic ones. There's a clamp right there. How's the lighting? Good. Good. There's a clamp right here. Got it out. There's another clamp. There's another one. That one. All right. Figure I'll try to do it slow because I don't really want to break that cover. I want to see what actually happened to it. Why it didn't provide any more enough pressure on those gears to keep it operating. There we go. And the cover is off. So, I guess the problem is one of the prongs. Let's see if you can see it really good. I'll show you on the light. There's three prongs that go inside that gear, and two of them look in the perfect shape. You can see as they go, and one is broken. And I guess that's the issue with those things so once it's not provides adequate pressure on that uh, it's not obviously clamps in that's when you have the problems well let's see if our new cover is going to work one thing i like about that metal one is it secures with the same bolts that secure the motor to the body it looks like it's about 12 mil bolts. So we'll try to check it out. And then, no. Oh. We'll try 10 millimeter bolts. Now what really made me mad, yes, it's 10 millimeter bolts. My car only has 28,000 miles. So we got a 12 year old vehicle with 28,000 miles and we got a problem like that. So I wasn't too happy when it happened. Oh wow, that was kind of loose, barely any. But again, from my understanding, this failure is going to happen, regardless. It's really a question of if, it's just when it's going to happen. So, now, it looks to me 
that those gears oh, pops like that. Just want to inspect the gear because it's got little wear on it. You can tell where it was catching. So they say that yeah, don't try to operate when it's doing it because you will wear out the gear and then guess what? You'll have to buy the whole new motor. What I'm going to do, it looks like there's some some kind of lubricant. So I'm going to put a lubricant also. And for that, I'm going to use my favorite. It's called the Super Lube. Multi-purpose synthetic grease. Uh, I've been using this stuff for years. It's clear. It's not messy. It's got really good properties. As far as uh, you know, I use it on my brake calipers. I should do it and we'll put some there's that gear put it some on a gear and there we go it's good stuff it's actually a food grade too so if you're fixing your mixer you can put that stuff in it and you can eat the stuff so there we go I'll put the gear back on Take this stuff out. I don't want to create any mess, even though it's eatable. <clears throat> so, there we go. Time for the metal cover. See how that goes in. Hey Dad. What? The time is counting down. It says we have 16 minutes left to record. Okay, it's gonna be old. 16 minutes. Here's another thing too, guys. Just Just for the heck of it, what I did is because it looks like there's some kind of polymer here. And uh, I'm thinking it provides the extra spacing. And that's where the gear is going to be, this part is going to be going against. So I figure I'll put some lubricant there too. Alright. Make sure that cover is not interfering with that cable I ran here. It's a fucker cable from M5. When I put my, uh, I believe it's Donovan uh, unit instead of the factory GPS unit that I had, I had to run that cable. So, okay, we'll just. Tighten up like that. I'm going to tighten up the rear bolts first. Just not tighten up, just put them a little snug. And uh, like I said, they weren't too tight. I mean, they came real easy out. So. Alright, so 
and just a little snug, maybe eighth of the turn. Tight, tight, again, and okay. Okay. All right, so cover is on. Let's see if it works. What we're looking for is not having the click, 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 click noise. And if it disappears, then we fixed it. And top. Time we're gonna go up. Let's try to pay attention to how the motor sound. As you can see, it's turning nicely. Top goes up, but the end it should be engaging again. There we go. fully up so it looks like this motor operates part of the at the time when the top is just about closed and when it's just about fully in that's when it's uh, operating and as you can see no click 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 so what I'm gonna do is I guess it fixed my problem um, so the gentleman that I got it on eBay um, is going to get a positive feedback because the product that he, I would imagine, designed, um, it works. Um, so yeah, he's going to get a hundred percent positive feedback, and uh, I'm not advertising this guy or this product. I'm just doing a rev review. Um, if you guys, somebody don't want to do the bolt and nut repair. There is a aftermarket now cover that you can get, um, and uh, let's see. I believe it was under. Uh, let's see, it was like E46 convertible top cover motor, something like that. You Google it or on YouTube search, you'll find it. Not YouTube, sorry, eBay. Um, so yeah, I guess this is it. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's going to help somebody of you fix the problem. If you have any questions, go ahead, put it in the comment section, and uh, you know I'll try to answer it the best I can. Um, so yeah, good luck. Thank you very much.